Okay, this video will be the next part of the videos about this Vanadium Redox Flow Battery project. In the part one, I make this cell. But now I get the questions about the flow channels in this cell. So the flow channels in the flow batteries are actually a really important part of the battery. Because the main job of the flow channel is some even distribution of the electrolyte. And the electrolyte plays some really important role for the capacity and the power for the entire flow battery. And for this reason, it's really important that you will get some really nice distribution of the electrolyte in the cell. And that you will get a little bit better idea about the flow channels in the flow batteries, here I have some example. Here I have this end plate with this integrated flow channel for this electrolyte distribution. Really nice. So here I go with this serpentine shaped flow channel design, but actually you have many many different uh, flow channel designs as well. But here I go with this one, just for example. And you can also see that these flow channels are directly integrated into this end plate, which means that if I make that cell out from these kind of plates, then the entire cell will be much much slimmer. Here in this cell, I use a little bit different plates, which they look like this. So this is the rector plate, which I use in this cell, and you can see this hole over here. So instead of having these serpentine shaped flow channels, I have here some empty space. And because here I have this empty space, I also need to have some end plate. And for this reason the entire cell is a little bit more bulkier, because I go with this kind of design. Like so. So the electrolyte goes over here, then the electrolyte will fill this compartment and the exit of the electrolyte will be over here. But the really popular flow channels for the flow batteries is of course this serpentine shaped flow channel design, like this one. And also in many flow batteries, the flow channels are integrated directly into bipolar plates. The bipolar plates are typically made from some metal or some graphite. And in this case, these kind of flow channels will be integrated into this graphite plate. And this will be your bipolar plate. And now I will make some little demonstration with this plate with this big flow channel here in the middle. So here I have some glass that you will be able to see what is happening inside of this plate. So here I have some gasket. On each side I will put these gaskets that I will not get any leakage. So Okay, I hope that this will be good for this demonstrating. Okay, so I hope that you will get the idea of 
how this plate is actually working. So now I have this empty space over here, but in that cell is this space fillet with this carbon felt, like so. So the carbon felt have the contact to the current collectors and now I will make a quick demonstration also with this carbon felt. Okay, so now it will be a little bit harder to see. Okay, the same experiment I will also do with this plate. So here, instead of using some gaskets, I put this plate directly on this glass. And actually, I will hope that I will not get too big leakage. Yeah. Cool. So really nice. Okay guys, in this video I showed you how it looks the electrolyte flow in this cell. With this plate, with this big flow channel. That's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.